update you as we learn more. Welcome back to our Pet of the Week segment. You know you love it over here when we get our mutts from our community. And this morning we're joined with seven-year-old Pomeranian mix, Dexter, who is a little bit insecure. Yeah, I'm talking about you. So Dexter has a backstory, obviously. He's he a little shy. He's sitting with you this morning because he's known you for about nine weeks. But tell me a little bit about how Dexter led to you. Um, Dexter was an owner surrender. His family, um, the adult members of his family, uh, left their college age kids a house here in Bakersfield and they left all the dogs in the house. The college age kids didn't have the resources to take care of the dogs um, and Dexter was surrendered to us. He, when we got him, was missing a lot of his fur. He had severe flea allergies and um, foxtails embedded in his mouth, ears, and a huge, huge abscess on his neck. Oh my God. Um, and he also came to us as a very insecure dog. He's still very insecure. It takes him anywhere from two to three weeks to warm up to a person in the, um, while he's, while he's trying to warm up to people, he has a tendency to be defensive. He'll growl like he's doing right <laughs> now. <at> Stop it. <laughs> but he's potty trained, right? He is potty trained. He's potty trained. He's crate trained. He's just going to take somebody who can be very patient with him. It's going to take him two to three weeks to warm up to an individual. Yeah. Um, they can they need to expect to see very defensive behaviors like the growling he was just doing. Yeah. Um, so what's your best advice for maybe just like the transition into someone's home? Just like kind of let him be, maybe give him a space or what's your advice? Space, uh, use the crate. He is crate trained. Um, I actually left a slip lead on him uh, yes. for the first several weeks and I didn't, it, you know, I kind of ignored him um, until, he, <laughs> until he came to me. So once he came to me, then he decided that I was safe. I wasn't going to hurt him. And now I'm his sun, moon, and stars. But I'm the foster mom. <laughs> um, and as the foster mom, you know, they, we have a lot of dogs that will, will bond really closely with us. Our goal is to get them to the point where hopefully they can bond with a new family. And we know Dexter will. He bonded with his previous family. He's bonded with me. He's bonded with my sister. Um, so there is a family out there for him. It's just going to take somebody very, very patient um, and willing to give him that time to adjust. So now that you've had time to get to know Dexter, what does he like to do? Does he like to play outside? Is he more so just a cuddle bug? And yeah, what's he like He to loves do? attention, as you can see. Um, <laughs> he's also being very insecure because he's not accustomed he, to this. You know, new strangers yes. around. Hey, Dexter. Um, he <laughs> loves toys. Um, he does play fetch. So you can throw any toy, he'll go get it, and he brings it right back. Okay. He loves those little antler shoes. Um, he loves dog beds. Okay. So I don't know if he had those in his previous home, but he loves dog beds. Um, and um, and then, of course, he's crate and house trained, so that does simplify things for some families. All right. So hopefully it's a family that doesn't have kids because... Yes, no kids yeah. um, for Dexter, just because with his insecurity, kids tend to bring friends over, and he's not going to handle all of those new people Most well. Definitely. All right. Well, thank you so much. And if you would like to warm up to Dexter here and have him in your home, all you have to do is head to Marley's Mudstock org slash adoptables and you can click on the link right there and you can find Dexter's information. We'll also have more information about Dexter on our website turn to 23.com. All you have to do is click on the pet of the week tab but for now I'll send it back to you